So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 14th TypeScript tutorial in which I'm gonna quickly go over what is constructor for your class in TypeScript. Well constructor would be the very first function which would be called whenever you create your object like new website and you can pass arguments to constructor and obviously it wouldn't return anything because you actually assign the object to it when you are calling the constructor so it doesn't make any sense for constructor to return anything right so for TypeScript you just write constructor like that because uh, I guess some languages and not some actually almost every language which has actually OOP implementation kind of has a constructor like website or you know the same as the class name or maybe like I guess PHP has this construct I haven't used that in a while so I don't remember actually I guess it's something like that so anyways so constructor is the keyword which you have to use for constructor and this would be the first function to be called right here right and then you can pass in a bunch of arguments like uh, URL as a string and remember that this URL and this URL are different right this is that this is just the copy of whatever is passed right here you can just name it URL X as well it doesn't make any difference so URL is a string and then FB likes as a number right so now what we have to do is say this dot URL now this dot URL refers to this URL the variable of the actual class right so that is how pretty much we differentiate between the variable of the class and the local variables which are created by this constructor or any method right so this dot URL is URL now this URL refers to the argument which is passed and uh, then we can do this dot Facebook likes is FB likes right so here we go and now what we can do is inside our constructor we can create it right away like that and we can get rid of these two lines right and it just compiles perfectly fine but now in our compiled JavaScript you can see that just like we would expect this function website which is enclosed in our kind of class accepts two arguments and then pretty much assigns it just like we would have done in JavaScript right so this is how you create a constructor in TypeScript and uh, that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one